Mass identity has dropped to a decent mark. Is going in. Let's get up to Tomer. Yeah, they're off and they're racing. So 10 runners, they have gone without final frontier. Casa Ruan broke very well on the far side running rail in the green and yellow, Johnny Reb. In the uh, pink cap, we've got Brunel Charm. Up on the wide outside, Old News in those red colours. Then in the red cap, Triple Distilled. The grey is Glen Coco. Behind these in the black and white stripes, the change of colour, that is Strawberry Jack. So settling down at the end of the first three furlongs, going towards the bend at the far end of the track. On the outside, Holly Doyle on Old News possibly comes through to take it up or dispute it with Brunel Charm in the pink cap on the inside. Between the two is Johnny Reb. Then comes Casa Ruan. That's the leading four as they swing out of the back straight. Then comes the stripes of Strawberry Jack towards the inside, towards the outside. Dutch decoy trying to get in the race for the first time. Then comes the grey. Glenn Coco. Here they come into the home straight. They've got two furlongs left to run. And Brunel Charm, Shane Kelly kicks and goes for home early and he's opened up by two. Johnny Reb in the green colours now chasing him. Getting off the rails is Cassaran in the pink sleeves. The red colours of Old News. Then comes the move of Dutch decoy. Begins to stay on. No room for Mastai identity and on the wide outside the grey is Glen Coco under pressure on the inside Brunel Charm but here comes the Dutch decoy on the wide outside we've got the grey Glen Coco as well still trying to get through his masked identity coming towards the line Dutch decoy wins it yeah from in second place Glen Coco and the unlucky and running masked identity He was strong in the market was the winner Dutch decoy for Joe Fanning and Mark Johnson and he's going to return a winning favourite I think off a very strong gallop. Both his previous wins this horse had come off really strong paces and he's got one here because they've they've gone a, a very strong gallop in front, a, a mad pace it seemed. There were several of them that couldn't lay up in the early part of the race and the pace has definitely collapsed. Yeah I think the uh, First two in the betting, Johnny Reb and more particularly uh, Brunel Charm, who I can't really complain about because I wanted the blinkers to liven it up a little bit, but they've certainly done that and they've set the race up for the horses challenging on the uh, outside. Stuart Williams um, uh, has got two seconds again today. I know how that uh, feeling is, but he's also definitely uh, turned the corner. Glenn Coco's on a really good race at a track that he's come back to, but uh, just didn't have the class. Um, that Dutch decoy who got, uh, as you say, the race run absolutely to suit him. He's uh, got the perfect position from the break, but just didn't in get involved in that battle for the lead, which um, Brunel Charm was determined um, to win. But uh, when he shot round the bend two furlongs out, we both did wonder whether um, that was just pushing it a little bit um, too far. And I, I personally thought that um, Glenn Coco was travelling like uh, one who was going to stay up and win, but he's just had a, a, a classier horse on his inside in the end. But, um, yeah, um, I don't know what to think about Brunel Charm because the blinkers have worked to some degree but haven't delivered anything in the way of a positive result. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, I, don't, I don't think this is really the judge to race, him on, race to judge him on in a sense because he's been forced into going too quick. It, it, it seemed that... Joe Fanning and Dutch decoy, he wanted to be a bit handier, but he, he accepted the situation.